Good evening, America. In the coming election, you have an extremely important decision to make. With your vote, you may choose to continue to overextend our military presence throughout the world. Or choose to utilize American resources to fix problems here. Vote for me, and I will bring our servicemen and women home, home to a better, stronger America. An America that will again be respected. The United States cares. We, we care about democracy, we care about freedom. They don't care much about democracy or uh, liberty or what people are doing. We've got the feeling that they only want, want to improve their economy. The world is not naturally a peaceful, organized place. It has to be made peaceful by some kind of overarching authority. And my great fear is that if the United States opts out, maybe nobody will opt in. Our greatest resource isn't our money. It is the lives of the men and women of the American Armed Forces. How many more American lives must be lost because of our interference in the internal affairs of other countries? The expectation of the people of Bosnia and Croatia was that someone strong will come and save them. This is a globalized economy. So you can't sit there and say, oh, you guys have got problems. We can avoid it. We can't because oil is an international market. We invade sovereign nations. We topple governments. We manipulate economies because they don't serve our needs. And because we are the one and only military superpower, who is going to challenge us? North Korea is as big a threat as a madman nuclear bomb. The Koreans have nuclear weapons. The Chinese already have nuclear weapons. The Russians who are in the region have nuclear weapons. If you elect me, I will take the savings from our defense budget and I will stop the dependency on foreign oil and lay the foundation for a better, stronger America. This anarchy would spill all over the region and I'm not exaggerating if I say all over the world.